so I need some new Tylenol and some new 5,000 IUs of vitamin D. There you go. There cool. you go. Um, if I do, if I am positive, do I quarantine, does my two week quarantine start today or yesterday or from the day I get when the test results? When symptoms started. Yeah. Just now? Yeah. What'd she say? Um, basically she just said, I'm, oh, I was literally just about to text that. She just said, um, I need Tylenol instead of ibuprofen and get capsules of uh, vitamin D. She recommended 5,000 IUs a day. We should all take that. Um, so yeah, basically, I think I might have COVID. So we get back a negative test, but I think even if you get a negative test, we should get you tested again in a couple days. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to like go back and um, like tomorrow or something. How many? 5,000 IUs. <laughs> Alright. 5,000. You gotta get it. Alright. See ya. Alright. Love you. Bye bye. Love you. Bye. So, let's go ahead and get into a little bit of an update. So, right here we have the new and improved Uzi YouTube banner. I'm kind of going in, in a new direction with my brand. I changed my Instagram to Jake at Thuzi. I changed this banner, we changed the colors. This banner used to be white background with like a, a lavender purple for the letters. And now it's dark purple background, sky blue lettering, and changed the Instagram handle. This is the same logo. And then instead of saying new videos every Monday, it's new videos every day. I basically figured out a formula to post videos on YouTube every single day. Not all of them are gonna be vlogs like this, but most of them are gonna be like, um, kind of breaking down interviews with people in the, the, the filmmaking industry or content creation industry and the rest of them are going to be more vlogs like this. So I'm going to be posting hopefully at least a video every day, sometimes more than that and I just think it's going to, it's doing well for my channel. It's going to continue to do well for my channel. I've seen, since I've started this, I've seen subscriber growth. I've seen growth in daily views on my channel. I've seen some of my videos like from a long time ago like have spikes in views all of a sudden so I think good things are happening to my channel I've really kind of honed in on what kind of content I want to be putting out what I want my message to be what I want my business to look like um, what kind of stories I want to tell in the past few weeks I've shot a documentary, created a new business model that I'm working on putting out, started the build of my website. What else have I done? And basically just really refined my how I'm making content. I started putting out TikTok content, which is going really well. You can follow me. This is, I'm basically just posting content all about the things I'm passionate about. You're gonna see me maybe even vlog about fitness, but you're definitely gonna be seeing me vlog about storytelling, which is my passion and entrepreneurship which is also my other kind of passion and those two things are obviously welded together very nicely but I want to put out content about that because that's the kind of youtuber I want to see I want to see somebody who talks about making movies and telling stories um, not so much focusing on gear and how to make sick edits and all that more about storytelling and and also the business side of storytelling and that's really what I'm focusing on so if you're more into the vlogs, I would highly suggest checking out like the reaction videos that I've been posting about the directors and stuff like that because there's just a lot of good stuff there too. Um, but Thuzi, basically, my, our tagline is we're enthusiastic about telling stories and helping you tell yours. So not only do I want to tell great stories under the Thuzi umbrella, help other, but I also want to help you guys tell great stories and help uh, businesses tell their own stories so I do I already do this a lot with my client on your mark and I just want to basically reproduce this process with other businesses and scale it and just build a whole storytelling business so every day I just I'm gonna be waking up telling my own story telling client stories telling documentaries creating documentaries telling other people's stories and it's just gonna be this sick storytelling 
machine empire. But this is basically the the beginning and the rebirth of Thuzi and, and everything to come. I'm not really I'm not really a guy who likes to talk about things before I do them. Well, actually, I am a guy who likes to talk about things before I do them. But what I've realized recently is that doesn't usually work out well. Usually, when you t I feel like when you talk about something that you're going to do before you actually go out and do it, what happens is you never do it because you get the satisfaction of doing it. You, you, you get a level of satisfaction just by talking about it that kind of kills the motivation to do it because you've already been satisfied just by talking about it and getting people's feedback and getting people telling you, go ahead and do it. Then you, you get a high from that and then you end up not doing it. So I'm not here to talk about what I'm going to do or what my big plans are or what my rollout idea is. You're going to see it as it happens. But just know the three things I'm focused on the most right now are in basically in this order. My fitness, my documentary, and my business. And you're going to see it all documented on here. It's all going to be one big story storytelling beauty but yeah i'm excited about this chapter i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right there thank you guys for watching if you haven't already make sure you like this video subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with a friend if they're into filmmaking if they're into entrepreneurship if they're into the fit the, the, the hustler lifestyle fused with filmmaking Make sure you share with them. They'd be a great addition to the family. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching again. Peace.